Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Kay Short, and welcome to Short Talks. Today, I'm talking about living with my parents. It's just something that I've just kind of been noticing and something that I just wanted to bring to light. As y'all know, as millennials, we are statistically all moving back with our parents. For whatever reason, student debt, whatever it is, we're just moving in with our family. Maybe adulting is too hard for us. Um, I don't know what it is. It's something that a lot of us are going through, and I just want you to know that like you're not the only one if you're living with your family. But something I was thinking about and brainstorming with a friend is um, the idea of happiness. Thinking of that documentary called Happy, some Asian Pacific Islander country where easily grandparents were living to over 106 years old, you know? And what I learned about them is that the family sticks together. They watch them grow and generations and generations go and like they're happy, they're a community. They live very long and happy lives. So I was thinking about that, like why isn't the United States happy? Like if we were measured based off of happiness because there's some countries that do measure the richness and the wealth of their country based on how happy their citizens are. I can't remember which country it is, but it is on the movie so don't think I'm tripping. I was just thinking about like how unhappy we are. We have everything that you can ever want. We are one of the richest countries in the world and yet we are so unhappy. If you think about Western culture and the, the ideas of society, we're told at a young age that, you know, moving out when you're 18, going to college, getting a job, doing that whole thing is what's gonna make you happy. I was just thinking like, maybe we were never supposed to leave. Maybe we were supposed to, yeah, go to college, get, get an education, but maybe we were supposed to come back to make our communities better. We live in a society where it says be independent, be on your own, be a boss, do your own thing. You know what I mean? All these things and basically live a life of loneliness until you make your own family. And then the cycle just continues. You you raise your children and they're 18 and they go off and be independent by themselves, you know? Um, but what about the idea if they were to come back, teach whatever they learned and, and be citizens of their community and to make the community a better place. What about the idea of us sticking together as a family? Because if you think about all of the dead people or all the people that are gonna die or all the people could go back and say, hey, if I could live my life differently, this is what I would do differently. And a lot of times people say, I would have spent more time with my family. I would have spent more time with my spouse. I would have spent time with more with my pets. I would have spent more time with my friends. I would have spent more time with people in general instead of getting all caught up in our work. I say that because my parents are two generations older than me, so they're baby boomers. I know that they're gonna pass sooner than most of my peers' parents are gonna pass. And the small interactions that we have, even though I don't get to interact with them much because that's not my family culture, I know for me that's a part of me and I know those are the things I'm gonna miss about my parents when they do go. And it's like, I wouldn't be able to experience those things and at least be around them if I never lived with my parents, if I chose to never come back because I'm supposed to be independent and I'm supposed to like be on my own and I'm supposed to be paying my own bills and blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm just saying like, maybe if we can unlearn and relearn like, hey, like go into the world, be an adult, be a citizen, uh, get your education, go enjoy life, go explore, go have your mind blown, have different perspectives come into your life, change your perspective, have different beliefs, all these things like go do that and break away from the foundational things our parents have taught us intentionally and unintentionally. So go do that, but then come back and then teach them what you've learned and, and find a balance between what works for us and stay with your family. Again, like this is just me like word vomiting, just thoughts that are going on in my head, you know, since I've been with my family and maybe it's not such a bad idea, you know? So for all of you out there that are living with your family, I just want you to like not be ashamed. It's the situation we're in, it's the society we were born into, it's the ideas that we were given. Like there has to be a reason why we're all moving back in with our family. Like we're not just like, oh, I want to move in with my family. Like, because that's not the, the majority social norm. So it's like, there has to be a reason why we're moving in. I just want you to know that you're not alone and that it's okay and that to just have a different perspective. Thinking differently about the situation and, and just letting you know like, hey, just do you at the end of the day, whatever makes you happy, whatever life you wanna live. Like if you wanna stay with your family for as long as you want, do it, of course. Help out with the chores and help out with the bills, you know what I mean? Because it's nice to be able to share the load. Just in the comments below, let me know what you think about this idea. Again, it's just an idea. I just kind of want to have a dialogue with you. Um, and maybe because I just want to feel better about myself and my situation, whatever the case may be. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, my name's Kay Short. Honestly, you know what to do. I don't have to tell you what to do. So if you if you like it, if you don't, you know you know where all the buttons are at. But, but for sure, just leave a comment below. I really want to know what you all think about that idea. To be honest, I don't, I don't want to die unhappy and I don't want to die knowing that I didn't spend enough time with my family and the people that I cared about. So I'm not ashamed that I'm here. I absolutely love my parents and I love being able to see them every day. Even though they're a pain in my butt, it's okay. It's my life and there's nothing wrong with saving a couple bucks until I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of my life. And so that's just me. 
So thank you all so much for watching. Again, you do you. At the end of the day, I'm gonna do me. And as long as we all happy, that's all that matters. So y'all have a good one. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned till next, next time I post a video.